Um, we are a positive group, but we are a reality group too, yes. Jimmy. Um, <laughs> so six of the nine were eight goals or more. Mm. Uh, obviously a couple of 80 points. I think the biggest loser was Melbourne for me. The three teams that got flogged, uh, Brisbane, Carlton, the Suns, well, they're going to have to be in the bottom six. So with all due respects, we can pick them apart, and, but they're at various stages of development, age, whatever the case may be, and that's going to happen to them. But for me, Melbourne um, touted as top eight, um, probably internally as well. They've said that we'll make the finals and yep. maybe people talk about top four. And um, I thought the way they capitulated after quarter time was, uh, was very disappointing if I was a Melbourne supporter. And if I was a Melbourne match committee, I'd have some worries. Can that have, and this is to, to all of you, can that have deep scarring on a group the way that they capitulated? For two reasons. One, that the, the damage it does to its own confidence, but also what other clubs notice when they see something like that happen? I think it's more the second point. I think internally they'll, they'll, they'll bounce back because it's proven with every team except the bottom teams. Uh, there's probably two or three in a row. They're going to, it's going to happen through lack of talent in many ways. But... I, th- I think it was a response. Melbourne have done that in the past. Um, they were actually a response. I We asked last week about stocks, where we're going to buy Melbourne and yeah. where we'll hold. My biggest concern for them was, and they haven't played except for Geelong round one, and they probably could have if maybe won. They haven't played a, a team in a round where they're going to fight for the eight or a top four team. My biggest concern was when it became hard, were they going to miss Jack Viney? And to me, it was answered yesterday. Mm. Um, they didn't have anyone that set up. Their, they lost their structure. Uh, they, they, they dominated first quarter. They should have been three or four up. But they couldn't really... They weren't efficient going forward. And once the ball went into their defensive 50, they looked fumbly and they looked panicky. Um, and that Hawthorne really just hung in there. But uh, as we know, the Hawks, they persevered and actually touted them. 